What's good, everybody? I am back with another commentary again. Welcome to the My Voice channel where I give my personal two cents on different topics that I want to talk about. And as you can tell by the title and the image that's on your screen right now, I will be giving a personal two cents on this system and to also to really drive home the commentary of self-worth and value when it comes to foundational black Americans, FBA, when it comes to, oh, excuse me, when it comes to dealing with systematic white supremacy that is embedded in America as well. So here I go. Just to really start this off, um, I have addressed this many, many times. I am a pro wrestling fan. Um, it doesn't care if I'm watching WWE or Impact or AEW or whatever. But what really kept me watching WWE is the character of Sasha Banks. It was many pro wrestling characters, but but... But when it comes to the character of Sasha Banks, that's what I really watch. Um, that's what I mainly watch for, uh, because because her character is very interesting. Um, just to speak on so many pro wrestling names, uh, when it um, when it comes to the character of Sasha Banks, I I put I put the character up there with The Rock and. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and Sting. It's just Ric Flair. It's just so many names um, um, that I can possibly name at this time. But I, I, I just don't. Re I just don't really have the time. You know what I mean? But I'm not here to talk about the Sasha Banks character. I want to talk about the black woman behind the character of Sasha Banks. I want to talk about Mercedes Fernando. For those who don't know who she is, she is, of course, a professional wrestler, an actress, model, dog mom, and so many other things that I can't possibly name at this time because I don't have a kind of time. But however, just to give my personal two cents on this sister, I really have to, once again, I have to really commend her and Trinity for walking out of World Wrestling Entertainment in the way that they did. And even though they were unjustly punished just because they want to be treated fairly, it's just to me, and I will always say this, it was, well, let me say this, what Mercedes and Trinity went through. It was. It was racial undermining and its finest. And I don't know when. Either Mercedes and Trinity. Going back to WWE, that is highly unlikely to me. Um. I'm going to leave it up to them. If they want to go back, that's on them. But as of right now, as of right now, I'm just very, very happy and, and very glad that Mercedes took a stand and Trinity Fund 2 took a stand. And I just really hope that they stand on their square. You know what I mean? So how it really correlates to foundational black Americans and our self-worth and value, well, it's just really simple. When it comes to racist white society that practice systematic white supremacy against our people, we have to stand up against it. Even when you have to walk out into a business or company that continues to racially undermine you. Even, even if it pays a whole lot of money, you can still get another job. You can still get 
a job where you create something on your own and become rich off that. You know what I mean? We have to be aware that we have self-worth and value to our name. And we have to keep fighting not only for our name, but also for our humanity because our blackness, our very existence is our humanity. So if you like this commentary, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to the My Voice channel if you haven't. Um, all of the links will be down in my description box. And before I sign off of, of this, of this, com excuse me, if I, excuse me, I'm all over the place. Before I even sign off this commentary, just really going back to Mercedes Fonado. I really have to, yeah, I really have to commend her for sharing the information about Tyron and Saisha McCardo last year. Um, I have done plenty of commentaries a while back last year about this particular story. And it was Mercedes, I, her, if it wasn't for Mercedes IG account, you know, with her sharing that information with her fans and I got caught wind of it and actually done many commentaries. Shout out to Tori and Rain, Tariq Nishi, Vicky Dillard, and, and just really so many brothers and sisters that really shared her her story. Um, as it stands right now, Tyron and Shaisha's children, all of their kids are just living happily ever after right now. And it's and it's really because of us getting on code and actually defending our family structure. So once again, um, much power and much respect to Mercedes Fernando and much power and respect to our people. So that's all for now. This is Corey the Truth. I'm out. Peace.